Hey everybody, thanks so much for tuning in to my wash day. I am going to be using Curls Dynasty today. If you've never been here, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you, my subscribers. You know I am always happy to have you here. My name is Shanita. This channel is the Essence of Coils. I am already in the midst of my wash day. I've already shampooed and conditioned, and I am going to be deep conditioning at this point my intention was for this to be an all curls dynasty wash day. When I went to pull my products, I realized I'm completely out of that pumpkin mint treatment DC by curls dynasty, which really blows. That's my favorite part of the wash day and it's not here. So I pulled a substitute. Um, I am going to be using natural, natural grows, aloe and avocado deep conditioning treatment. I don't know if you have seen this before, I've used this before. I've used the brand before. I don't know if this particular one I used on the channel or not. I'll link the video so that you can check it out. <gasps> I give you all the details about that in that video. So I'm going to just get started with this. If you can see, I have used it a lot. This, this comes in 15.5 ounces, 16 ounces roughly. And I have not washed my hair in two weeks. It's been a crazy, crazy two weeks in my world. So I am going to be using this one because I needed an uber duper, super moisturizing DC this time. So as you already know, I really, really, really go in with my DC. So this is what this looks like. And it is a very medium consistency. I love that it's like this because it penetrates so well. Any hair type can use it. No matter your curl type, how thin, coarse, no matter your porosity, this is just very, very good for the hair. I am doing this as I do in every video. You guys want to see the details and see me talk through it. You can look at absolutely any wash day video on my channel. I am going to be kind of rushing through this process today. So it's not going to be as nice and slow as my other one is. I have left you the same wash day tips, application tips on every video. And those of you who watch them, probably can recite them at this point. And so um, I'm not going to do that because you're probably bored and I am in a hurry. So today's a win-win. I really had to spend a lot of time detangling my hair. I detangle my hair when I am rinsing out the uh, rinse out conditioner and when I am rinsing out my deep conditioner. I typically pre-poop. I did not do that this time either. So um, even when I pre-poo, that is when I detangled my hair. I used the water basically to help me detangle and going very, very carefully, that is the part I did have to slow down at. I used my detangling brush starting from the bottom to ease out those tangles and I had a lot of shit hair to show for my two weeks. So this is what I am going to do. This is what you're going to find in every video. And I'm going to sit this onto my hair. I use a bobby pin. If your hair's not long, you don't need to do this at all. I do this just so that I can keep this under my plastic cap so that I can get the heat dispersed on all sections of my hair. So that is what I'm going to do uh, all over and then we'll come back and resume the wash day. But I am moving on and you guys, this is the second time I've recorded this video. I literally recorded the entire thing and uh, the video didn't have any sound, like nothing, nada. I start to do a voiceover, but you know how much I've taught on these videos. I couldn't even find enough stuff to say to make it a decent um, voiceover video. I talk more when I'm in the experience, when I can feel it, when it's real, right in the heart of it. It just does a lot better because I just kind of speak from the heart, from my 
um, mind from what I experienced and it's just a whole lot easier. Voiceovers just aren't my thing. So I'm going to proceed at this point and I'm going to be using the Kalahari Smoothie Leave-In Conditioner. If you haven't tried this one, then girl, like this is the first thing I've tried from them. This is what prompted me to try everything else. This was so phenomenal. It says it's a powerful moisturizer. It hydrates and softens, melts away knots for easy detangling, promotes manageability, healthier hair growth and retention for all hair types. Works great for pores, curly, kinky, very dry hair types in need of hydration. This brand is um, aloe vera juice based. So you know how we always hear, make sure the first ingredient starts with water. This one uses aloe juice instead. Aloe juice obviously is a little bit more moisturizing than water. And I used to think that my hair did not agree with products that uh, started with aloe juice, but I've totally changed my mind about that. Just the more I've used it and grown and learned more about my hair and improved the processes, I learned that aloe juice is phenomenal. So if you are one of those who thinks that your hair doesn't like aloe vera juice, I really encourage you to make sure your hair is super duper hydrated with a deep conditioner and then try a product with it. And again, with the right set of moisturizers, it is just excellent for my hair. This one has aloe juice infused with organic green tea and pineapple fruit extract, organic coconut oil, shea butter, BMTS, satiro alcohol, organic soybean oil, Kalahari seed extract, hydrolyzed silk, uh, phenoxyl ethanol and preservatives and fragrances. Um, you can see all the details to that in the website. Y'all, I'm in a hurry. And if I have to stop and start pronouncing these preservatives, it, it's going to be a whole situation. So I'm not going to slow down at this point. They are natural ones. Very, very good. Tell you what, I'll say it in this one because I think all of the products have it in it. The phenoxyl ethanol, benzoic acid, dehydroacidic acid, citric acid. That's it. There's no sulfates, there's no parabens, there's no surfactants. This comes in a pump bottle. Love this. First leave in, I tried with the pump bottle and instantly thought every company needs this. Wonderful, wonderful. My only dilemma at this point is <laughs> it's gone. I've used this with so many other brands. It's so creamy. It is just, let's see if I can get enough out. Um, I'm gonna get out what I can, but I have two backups of this. That's how much I love this stuff. Very, very creamy. I love, love, love the way it feels just on my hands. It has this slippery effect to it. It's that hydrolyzed silk that just makes your hair smooth on top of being soft and moisturized. So here I am going to Split this hair up more. I actually washed my hair in four sections this time. This was me in that hurry situation. And y'all, I could tell the difference. If you've got thick hair, washing your hair in smaller sections is so much easier. It's worth the extra little time. I really had to go easy with all of those um, tangles and it really did make me have to spend more time on the bigger sections that I feel like if I had just made this smaller, I, it just would have been better. Would have been better. So I'm gonna put this leave-in in my hair, which <laughs> as you can see, is penetrating right through the cuticles going down into the shaft of my hair. And I apply this just like I do my deep conditioners. I want all of my hair covered and I want it covered from root to tip. I've rinsed the deep conditioner out though some of it has penetrated into my hair strands. This leave-in conditioner is where you are really setting the hydration in your hair for the week or for whatever amount of time you go from wash day to wash day. I'm gonna grab just a little bit more. And put some here. And here. Do you see what I mean? Like if it were just in smaller sections, this just 
I wouldn't have to split it up when I am applying it. I am really generous with my leave-in. If you're having problems styling your hair, like you think a product didn't give you enough definition or didn't give you enough moisture or not very uh, lasting moisture, I really highly you use a hydrating leave-in like this one and there are others that I have that I love and I use it generously and then I actually let it sit in my hair for about 20-30 minutes or so with a plastic bag prior to styling my hair. That further allows that hydration deep down into the hair strands, sort of like what happens with the DC. Just letting it sit in there and just giving it time to just really, really absorb helps it a lot. And then I'll come back with my styler, which I'm gonna use again, the Twisted Definition. In the last video that went awry, I used the Twisted Definition all over, and um, I'm gonna look because I think I have their second styler. They have two stylers in their collection, and I'm positive, I'm not positive. I think I've got both of them, and so if I do, I will, since my hair split down the middle, I'll use one on one side and one on the other. That way we can compare both of them in this one video. But this is the Twisting Cream. This one is super, super duper popular. It is infused with aloe, marshmallow, and ginger root. It is emollient and moisturizing. It provides a gel-like soft hold, minimizes tangles and breakage, and adds softness and shine. And I'll give you the first five of this ingredient list. Oh my gosh. Organic aloe juice infused with organic marshmallow root, castor seed oil, shea butter, manuka honey, BMTS. Like to me, that is a product. If somebody just used those few products alone, those few ingredients, I'd be a happy camper because that that just speaks by itself. <laughs> that speaks by itself. Um, so I'm gonna finish my whole head with the leave-in and then I am going to twist. In fact, for fear that I won't come back, I'm gonna just go ahead and twist this now. Again, I would usually put the leave-in in all over, put my plastic bag back on, and go and tend to something else for another half an hour. But. You guys are so special. This is so different. And because I fear if I get sidetracked, I won't come back. I'm gonna show you what I'm going to do when I do come back. So here is the consistency of this um, twisted definition. It is staying put. I don't know if, yeah, it's, it's not a super thick butter. Um, this is staying put as I hold it upside down and it's not moving. But it's not, let me just show you, girl. Look, it has the consistency of um, like ice, not ice cream frosting, cake frosting. That's exactly what it reminds me of. It even looks like it. Very, very moisturizing. It feels just incredible on the fingers and in my hand. So I am going to apply this on my strands because my last couple of weeks was so crazy and I did not wash my hair and it wasn't moisturized. I'm going to make sure I put enough product in my hair in the event that next week is just as crazy. And that way I don't have to worry about the uh, moisture staying in if I make sure the hydration is down in the hair and then lock it in with this twisting cream. I'm looking for oil, you guys. Because it has just got, y'all, this stuff smells good. Oh, heavens above. Mmm, that smells so good. Um, I don't have any of their oil, I don't think. I'm gonna just use one that is here on my dresser because I'm too lazy to move. And go get one. 
just to show you what I am going to do with it. And I'm going to use my RX Naturals one. It is a hair and beard oil. If you haven't learned about RX Naturals, honey, let me stop and take a pause. I'm going to put that video in the description box. That is a video you want to see. In fact, I did two uh, videos using it. And I'm just using it, about two or three drops of this. And um, several of you have bought it. Every single person who's got it has come back and been like, girl, this stuff beats out some of those mainstays. Some of those that we have used forever, you stock up on, you chase, you wait for a good sale because they're so freaking good. This is where that is. This stuff is phenomenal. Um, Spunky came on and told me that she bought it out of a beauty supply store in her area, bought the entire collection, and that she uh, was thrilled with the regular price that she paid for. It was that good. She said that she think it was going to replace her main, main crush, her PJN, like all the greats. Shh, it was that good. So, you know that's saying a whole lot. And Miss Spunky has a ton of products. So, if she thinks that beats some of her great you better check it out i highly advise it i do have a coupon code in the um video and you can use to try but y'all the regular price for it is worth every dime it's worth every single penny it is black owned by a um a pharmacist and so i hadn't been on here a while you see i'm talking too much okay so here's what this looks like i'll put that video down there and you can check out the details to that nice and shiny oh it's so so soft my hair is probably thinking thank you jesus because there has not been a drop of moisture in it like i didn't even spray it with refresher spray so curls dynasty has got big shoes to build to try to get this moisturized and keep it moisturized and so this is what i'm going to be doing all over my hair you guys and i will be back when i am taking it down and we will assess it we will talk about each product separately and see what it looks like, how it holds up. You'll get all the details in my final clip. I'll see you then. I am back. It has been three days. Three days of wearing these twists. They still look so nice and shiny. I just could not justify taking them down, especially because it's been raining the last few days. So here I am. Oh, put the earring out. Here I am in day three. And I am about to style these. I am about to tell you what I did and how each product performed. Hair's all picked apart and I think I'm gonna leave it at this point. 
So, yo, my hair, <laughs> the definition of this stuff. It is so awesome that definition is in the name because it is precisely what you get. But let's start from the beginning. This Coco Med Moisture Rich Shampoo, you guys know that I did a video early 2020, about mid 2020 actually, that told you these were my all time favorite uh, shampoo and rinse out conditioner in the whole wide world. This is so, so good. You know, they changed the packaging last year, so now it is this gorgeous, sleek, orange metallic color, like more gold metallic color, and it's so eye-catching. I don't need to tell you guys how frustrating it is to try with your slippery hands to pop that cap open to pour shampoo in the shower. It's not a big inconvenience, don't get me wrong. But I do love this. I love that she does this. This shampoo says that it is for all hair types. It works great for very dry, thick, kinky textures in need of moisture. That does not limit the product to dry, thick, coarse hair um, naturals. It just means it includes you. So anybody can use this. It is so natural. Like the, the shampoo has ingredients in it that it's so, such a wowing factor. Normally, I can't pronounce a whole lot of the uh, ingredients that are in a shampoo, but this has organic aloe juice, star fruit extract, may pops extract. I'm not going in order, I'm just picking some stuff. Kiwi fruit extracts, there's guava fruit extract, organic soybean oil, organic olive oil, organic coconut oil, shea butter, hemp seed oil, palm oil, organic cocoa butter. It is so so freaking soft. The product is soft. You can feel the moisture on your hands and it adds so much slip and softness to your hair as you are moisturizing. This is the only, 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 actually one other, but one of the two shampoos I own that I feel like I could detangle with if I wanted to. I really do. Um, I didn't take the effort to do that because I've had this bomb uh, conditioner before but you could if you are just a shampoo person and don't want the whole shampoo and rinse out conditioner as a part of your wash day this is what you want because you can do this clean your hair get it nice and moisturized lots of slip it's so softening for the hair like sometimes i feel i have to remind myself when i'm using it okay this is a shampoo rinse it out this is a shampoo rinse it out because it feels so good it can remind you of a rinse out conditioner speaking of this one again appropriately named give me slip give me slip blast hydration conditioner honey some days I lose the words. I, I just can't come up with the right thing to say. This conditioner has so much slip. I always use them together for just the maximum effect because it's so good together. They're good individually. Putting them together is just wash day delight. This has so much slip to it. It is so soft. It just adds to what you just did with the shampoo. It's this cleanses and it moisturizes. You get lots of slip and softness from this and you get all the same features except the cleansing from this as well. It is a co-wash conditioner and detangler. It's a powerful moisturizer, hydrates and softens, melts away knots for easy detangling, promotes manageability, healthier hair growth and retention. I concur with every single one of these. This detangles like a breeze. If you are one of those people who shampoo your hair and don't use the rinse out conditioner and you go to condition it and it's so tangled you can barely get the deep conditioner down in there, this is the step that you're missing that just melts those tangles on contact. I put this in, I do let it sit for a minute or so and then I go back and use my detangling brush uh, in sections starting from the bottom and like the shed hair just slides right right out of my hair into the shower or on the brush. But this is so, so good. If you're not a rinse out conditioner person and you want to get one to start with to see what one is supposed to feel like, what it's gonna do to your hair, this is the one I'm gonna go tell you to get off the shelf immediately. No questions asked, I don't have to think twice. This is the one you want. The slip and the conditioning is absolutely insane. It is insane. I love those. 
Um, I used another uh, deep conditioner, but I did use the Kalahari leave-in. Y'all, I already have, I thought I had two more of these. I have three. This is so good. Everybody that I've talked to who uses this has loved it. I have not met anybody who does not love it. It is just, I'm trying to describe it in a way that just sets it apart because it is different. Um, it's called a smoothie leave-in and I guess because of the texture, it does have a smoothie texture but it glides on your hair and it instantly penetrates your hair. Me with my low porosity coarse hair, it just absorbs right into my hair strands. It's so hydrating. You know how I'm always talking about a hydrating leave-in. That is what you want when you're styling your hair. A moisturizing one is good, a hydrating one is better. This is the base that you're putting in your hair that you want really to get all that hydration from. This is what it is. If you suffer with a uh, hair that uh, frizzes when you style it, that doesn't stay moisturized over the you know few wash days afterwards, I really challenge you to try a hydrating leave-in prior to your styler of choice, whatever that's going to be. This was the one that showed me that this makes a difference. A hydrating conditioner leave-in makes a difference in your styling process. This smells good. It is in everybody's number one uh, uh, leave-in conditioners. Almost every video I've seen that lists their favorites, this is always in there. It is just completely superb. I have the Twisted Definition. I believe I said earlier that I thought I had the other styler and I couldn't find it. I'm still thinking I have it. I could have given it away, I'm not sure. But if you like Definition, you will love this. If you don't like that condition, you will love this. This leaves your hair so shiny. It leaves so soft. It locks in definition. When I took down those uh, twists originally, I was like, this is insanity. Three days and I could pull those twists out and not find one single piece out of place not one string of frizz anywhere. Every single twist was perfectly coiled and defined. And they were shiny and they looked absolutely amazing. It just makes a good moisturizer. If you're you know, a person who don't care about um, definition, this will hold the moisture into your hair however you choose to style it. Um, but if you like definition and you want your hair to have some defined curls that you can see, You just need to go and get this entire line. That's that's all I'm saying. This is aloe, marshmallow, and ginger root. It's emollient and moisturizing, and it provides that soft hold. It says this here, that it's gel-like, providing a soft hold. That is exactly how I would describe this. It has a, that little tack to it, so that when you um, kind of, you know, put it on your fingers and tap your fingers together, it has that little stick there, so it has a little tack. I knew then that it was going to give my hair a little um, hold. And so here we are and it is soft, but the that gel-like property also gives it that definition, it locks the definition in. I love, love this. I did not do these twists super, super tiny. I did just kind of, you know, twirl it on the ends like this at the end of my twist. I did not use a rod. And because it's such a great definer, I didn't have to. And I don't find a whole lot of those ends sticking out like I always complain about in, um, with, in other videos that you've seen me talk about. The ends just point straight uh, because this is such a great definer. It just curls those ends. Just doing it with my fingers worked wonders. My hands are so moisturized. I knew you thought I was done. My hands are so moisturized. When I styled my hair, I looked, because you know how you can look at your hair and it looks nice and shiny, and even after two or three days, and then you take the product out and your hands has this oily residue on it. I got nothing like that. My hair looks and feels like it should be oily. It is not oily at all, at all. This feels just silky smooth. I don't feel any way reserved about touching anything after this. No issues at all. 
This says it is for type 3 and type 4 hair that you can do it in absolutely any style. Kinky, thick hair textures just like the other product. So again, that doesn't mean only you, it's including you. Because you know, so many uh, brands came out that kind of forgot about us kinky, thick haired girls. And so I love when they include this on here. It's to say, we, we see you, we see you, and this will work for your hair. If you are 4B, 4C person who struggles with definition, try this. Get these two. Here's your magic solution. Put this on, put on a plastic cap, give it a few minutes to settle in, maybe 10, 15 minutes to kind of really absorb, and then go back and add this twisted definition on it. And if I recall, the other styler that they have was just as good. In fact, I know some type four sisters who said they liked the other one better than this because it provided more hold. So you can't go wrong with either. This just has more of a soft, soft hold. I wish you could feel my hair. It's just pillow feather soft. It is just delightful. So. You guys, if you haven't tried Curls Dynasty, you know I'm gonna send you over there. I don't have a coupon to go, but go and check them out. You know that they are now in Target. I haven't been keeping up with who is going into stores uh, lately because I'm finding that a lot more brands are going to stores and I'm happy for them, but I just don't keep up with that. I really am at this point where I prefer ordering my products online. Maybe last year spoiled me, but I just like ordering it and getting it in the mail. And plus there are tons of brands that I have and love that I can only get online. So I don't mind this. In fact, I can go target.com and get this. You know, you can, they have that service where you can order it. They'll have it ready. You just go over and pick it up. Or if you have a red card, they will deliver it for free. So take my advice and try these products. I highly, highly recommend this. So give it a try, but I do want you to tell me what is your favorite Curls Dynasty product? Um, if you don't have it, then have you ever had it? If you have it, do you wanna try it? Let's just chat in the comments box. I would love to know your thoughts about the products. I'd love to know uh, any issues you've had, good or bad, with the brand. Um, packaging, shipping issues, sales, whatever you have experienced with this that you'd like to note, we would love to know about it. We love, love coming together and sharing our information down there because we all learn from each other. Maybe what I experienced, somebody else didn't. And so it's sort of like our own little personal review section where you can go and find out all the um, intricate details of what people have experienced. So I hope this video helps you. You know, you can ask me anything about it in the comment section and I will answer. Um, again, the website will be in in the description box check it out i hope you guys are taking care of yourselves i have missed you i have missed styling my hair i took a nice little hiatus but i'm back girl i'm back y'all will be seeing me more often i appreciate you hanging out thank you for those of you who um contacted me to check on me that's so thoughtful of you i am doing very well very very well so i will see you guys in the next video thanks for hanging in there bye